This is the Denantology U9 P1 and we are going to cover on the software in this video. So the Denantology U9 P1 is powered by Android 4.2.2, Jelly Bean, and as usual with all those SIM phone by Denantology, it comes with the SIM management. And you can manage your two sims in this part of the settings so you can choose uh, your default setting for voice call your video call messaging and also data connection which supports both sim card for 3g network but you only can choose one at a time which can be done right here now the other settings are all the usual Android stuff. They are more or less the same so you can refer to other videos as well. Now let's move on to the basic specification of the U9 P1. So we already covered the, the official specifications on the unboxing videos. Now let's get more into what is what in this phone. So this phone is powered by ARM Cortex S7 1.3 GHz. MediaTek processor, you can see over here is at dual core. The GPU vendor is ARM Mali 400MP, which proves quite reliable and also quite fast. And you can see here this is MT6572. The total RAM available to user is 468. And the internal storage that you can store the apps only is 1.27 gigs. A lithium ion battery. Sensors, there are only three sensors in this phone, which is the accelerometer, which is used for when you play games, you can tilt the phone and stuff. The proximity sensors is and the light sensor placed right over here, which is useful, useful, quite useful for phone calls. And that's all the three sensors that you got in this phone. There is no compass in this phone, so you do take note for that. Even if you download a Compass app, it won't work. Do take note on that. Let's move on to Antutu benchmark. So, are you curious about the how it performs? It's a dual core phone with 1.3 GHz processor and Mali 400 MP GPU. So, it performs quite good, over 10,000 mark for the Antutu. And you can see the details here. It, Describes all the performance on this phone. The CPU can only run, cannot run large apps smoothly, so that's pretty understandable since it's only a dual core processor. But the RAM is general, the 2D graphics general, 3D graphics is general, supports most games on it, so you shouldn't worry about playing games on this phone as long as it's not um, a quite heavy game. Some simple and basic games such as Sonic Dash and Minion Rush should do okay. Now let's move on to the camera before we get to the games part. The camera is for 5 megapixel at the back and 0 0.3 megapixel up front. The 5 megapixel camera do not support autofocus, although you can do focusing but it will not focus. However, it supports HDR, capturing, panoramic, when auto capture and smile detected, all the basic functionality of a camera is covered so do you do not worry about that apart from the other focus thing so you got zero shutter delay the face detection self timer continuous shot you can have that picture size up to five megapixel preview size you can choose whether you want standard for two three or full screen it's all up to you as for video recording, the video quality supports up to fine, which translates to 1280 x 720p. So you can shoot 720p HD videos with this phone. Audio mode, you can choose normal or meeting. Now let's take a look on the other, the rest of the applications. It comes with NQ Mobile Security, which gives the basic security for you. Adobe Reader comes pre-installed, backup and restore, which comes really handy. If you want to back up your data and restore your data, so you don't have you do not have to root your phone. You can do that instantly without rooting. Browser comes pre-installed. Calculator, calendar, camera, Chrome browser also comes pre-installed. Spuzi we already covered that. Facebook comes pre-installed. 
we got a flashlight which is pretty neat got the FM radio gallery gmail all the usual stuffs already comes free so and make sure remember when you already purchase your phone do register and warranty so your phone will be covered by the official Nantology warranty let's get to the gaming part mini rush one of the most popular free games on the market and we'll see how well it performs in the in this game the mini rush is quite famous for its um, high requirement to be able to play but we'll see so let's play Turn up the volume. So you can see in this video it re responds quite okay. Or oh, there are some slowdown, but well, you can play this game, no problem at all. Almost. Yeah, I think that's it. So the keypad response is quite okay. The game mm, performed quite well. There's no lag. Only some slow frame, but you do okay. Now. You got a music player, also comes pre installed. Navigation, phone, photos, Play Store, Quick Office also comes pre installed. So it covers all, also your office needs. And um, let's take a look on the usual menu as a demo for reading on this phone. So this phone has a WVGA screen which translates to 800 times 480. And this also covers browsing the internet, so you can see the words quite clearly, very clear, without even zooming in, or if you prefer to zoom in, you can also do so, gets better, but without, even without zooming, you can see the words, so there is no jaggedy jack. So that also covers the browsing experience. You can take a look on the browser as well. That's all for the UI demo for the Unantology U9P1. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Unantology videos.